Thank you so much for that preview. And now another chapter in the 101 Ash Street debacle coming to an end. This as the broker, the city says, made millions off the bad deal. Real estate deal pleaded guilty in criminal court. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal joining us live now to explain what happened here, Kelly. Well, that's right. You know, uh, this criminal charge came as a bit of a surprise because up until now, 101 Ash Street has been dealt with uh, strictly in civil court. Now, Jason Hughes, uh, his hearing today uh, was over with very quickly. Uh, he was arraigned. He changed his plea to guilty and was sentenced in less than 10 minutes. So go ahead and take a look inside the courtroom. Are you convinced that he understands the entire contents of this plea, his constitutional rights and all consequences of this guilty plea? Yes, Your Honor. Now, Hughes himself did not appear uh, because this was a misdemeanor case. His attorney appeared on his behalf, uh, but we do have a photo of Hughes from his company's website. Now, he pled guilty to one count of violating state conflict of interest rules. Uh, he was sentenced to a year of probation and ordered to pay a $400 fine. Now, that is just for the criminal case. As for the settlement in civil court that the city agreed to yesterday, Hughes must pay back more than $9 million to the city, and in exchange for that, the city will drop its lawsuits against Against him. Now, it's clear the council wants to move on. It basically said rather than spending millions litigating this, let's move forward, let's look to the future. Now, District Attorney Summer Stefan answered reporters' questions after today's hearing, and I asked her, uh, what would you say to critics who may argue Hughes is getting away with a slap on the wrist? Here's what she said. We followed the law, and this law, when you read it, it's a government code that deals actually, and even today, it still only spells out government officials and employees of the government. It's already highly unusual to have someone charged who is not part of the government. And she went on to say basically that the laws really are murky when it comes to uh, charging people who are not uh, technically government employees. So essentially, this was the best they could get, according to her, when it comes to any criminal charges. Now, meanwhile, Hughes is uh, Hughes did read a, release a statement to CBSA basically uh, saying that uh, he acted in good faith at a time when the city was dealing with a lot of uncertainty, uh, that he was prepared to move forward with a vigorous defense had this gone to trial. But in the end, uh, he chose or he determined that this uh, settling all the cases was in the best interest for him and his family. We will have that full statement posted on CBS8.com. Kelly Hassett, all CBS8.